Hey everyone, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this Photoshop tutorial, I'm going to show you how to blend text into your photo using the Blend If tool. So let's grab my text tool and type out some hypothetical text. Now we're starting off on an easy example here, just a flat ground perspective so I can demonstrate the tool. Now this is what the text looks like just right on top of the photo. Now traditionally, you might go to the opacity and try to lower that to blend things, or go to the blending mode and set things to overlay or soft light. And this kind of works, however, it's too uniform of an effect to look realistic. We're going to take advantage of the nice highlights and shadows and texture in the rock and the gravel here to create a more realistic effect. And we can do that by going to right click on our layer and going to blending options. Now in the blending options panel, the first thing you should see is this blend if menu. And essentially this tells Photoshop to only blend this layer or the underlying layer if it falls within a certain color range. So if I pull from the shadows on underlying layer, it's going to tell Photoshop to only blend the text layer into these ranges of colors. So don't blend it into the shadows, which means that the shadows of your original photo will start to peek out. And you can see that we can use this to manipulate the range of colors so that your text layer kind of falls within the cracks of the ground or a wall that you're working on. Now, just pulling the sliders like this, it can be a little bit harsh. You can kind of tell there's some clipping happening. So if you want to kind of feather the effect, if you hold Alt or Option and actually split the highlight or shadow sliders so that there's a little bit of feathering in between the range and things don't clip as much. So now you can see it looks like the text is blending within the cracks of the gravel and the rock, which from here you could go on to do more final touches like play around with the blending mode and all that. Now this was an easy example, it was just a flat ground perspective, but let's say we're working on a wall here. How am I going to get this text to apply on a perspective as well as fall between the cracks of this wall on this photo? So the same techniques apply with blend if. However, if you're working on a perspective, there's a few ways you can do it. Now, one tool Photoshop offers us is the vanishing point filter, but I'm going to save that for its own tutorial, and that can come in handy when you're working with multiple planes of perspective. In this case, I'm just working with this one wall perspective here, so we should be able to get away with using the perspective warp tool. So if I grab my text and I type out another word, so let's type out a word, Get it to roughly the size and positioning I want, and then I go to Edit, Perspective Warp. So for the first step, you want to crop it in as close as you can, and then switch over to your Warp tool, and you can put the pinpoints to follow the plane of perspective in your photo, which in this case is kind of laid out for me by these lines in the wall. Press OK when you're happy with that, and from here you can even Command T and scale things down if things got too big or whatever, and move things slightly, still keeping them into perspective. And I'm purposely putting this text in between this crack right here, even though I don't think that's the best placement, so I can demonstrate to you the Blend If tool in action. So let's right click this time, go to Blending Options, and again, you go to the Blend If section, and let's pull these sliders until we can see some magic happening. So you can see that crack comes through the text, which immediately improves the realism of the effect. And then if I pull down the highlights, I can start to see some of those scratches on the wall come through on the text, which is much more realistic to how it would be in real life. Again, you can hold Option and split those slider heads to create more of a feathered effect so things aren't clipping and whatnot. But in this case, you see the wall is such a dark uniform gray that I had to get the sliders pretty close together to get that perfect balance and then press OK when you're happy. So you can see it creates a much more blended effect. Some of those scratches are coming through the text. It makes it look like it's more realistically on there and you get that perspective on the wall as well. But hopefully these two examples were a good start for you to start blending your text into different situations, especially simple walls and simple grounds and especially getting familiar with the power of the Blend If tool when it comes to allowing the texture of your photos underneath. 
to come through the text for a more realistic blend. So if you guys did enjoy this video, definitely leave a like on it below and check out my other Photoshop tutorials on my Photoshop tutorial playlist and subscribe to my channel to stay tuned for future videos. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.